The beat is all by you. The rhythm flows directly from the river. And like the Mississippi itself, this music will transport you. I'm a night train. Rolling 900 miles. It was the Delta Blues and his Fender Telecaster Thin Line that has carried Tab Benoit around the world. But for this three-time Grammy nominee and three-time Blues Music Award Entertainer of the Year, everything comes back home to the Louisiana coast. The wetlands are more than his inspiration. Keep it burning, baby. This is home for Tab Benoit. I got that fuel for my fire. If you think Tab's guitar is blazing, head down to Terrio in Terrebonne Parish and go for a ride in his boat. I got the muddy bottom blue. I'm just trying to get through. I've known Tab for over 20 years, and with all the success, He's the same guy, Cajun to the core. Why do we come here? Uh, this would strike me as a place that you could bury a body. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, tie some cinder blocks and the alligators will take care of the rest. <laughs> uh, I was just wondering if there was no, something man. I might have done. Hey, swamp is in, man. Swamp is in. Look at swamp people, swamp this, swamp that. You know, it, swamp's finally in. I, I like it. Tab's music, like that of all Louisiana music, emerged from these wetlands, the same wetlands that are today one of the most endangered places in the world. You know, there's life out here, you know. One thing about a swamp, you know, is that it's living, breathing. There's a lot of living things, you know. Every square inch has something moving in it, you know, and uh, you feel that, you know. As an artist, I feel it. I come out here and I get inspired and I feel the life out here. And out here, it just, things flow naturally. It's like. Like the music's already in there, you just gotta go in there and get it, you know? There's no Tab Benoit without this. I don't think so, yeah. Not, 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 you know. There's no Dr. John, there's no mm -mm. Louisiana LaRue, there's no Cajun, there's no Creole without this coast. Right, and without this scenery, and without this mud, and without this water. That's why we have the culture so, that's so strong here that nobody else has. That's why the music sounds different, the food tastes different, and the language is different. It's because we live in a delta of the third largest river on the planet, you know? The Mississippi River Delta is, is a very rich place. You gotta realize this, even though we're far from the Mississippi River right now, the actual river itself, all of this was fed by the Mississippi and built by the Mississippi water. So, you know, it's, that's the fight, you know, to try to get some of that river water back in here and let it do its thing. Did Mother Nature get it wrong? A rush to Delta and the name of changing. And dig it till it's dead and gone. With the feeding power of the Mississippi blocked, the wetlands have starved. Since 1930, Louisiana has lost 1,900 square miles of land an area the size of the state of Delaware, endangering America's oil and seafood industries, and not to mention the two million people that call this area home. And I don't see anything more important than fixing this right now because it's too vital and we, we use it too much. The whole country is reliant on what we do down here. You know, and I wanna make sure that that's a message that gets out because it's up to all of us. What you gonna tell the spirit? The biggest port in the country is the port of New Orleans. The oil port, which the whole country relies on, is south of New Orleans. You know, look at the refineries we have here that everybody around the country is relying on, and, and they don't even know it. But it's all washing away. We're all together here, and you know, we're all washing away. There's a whole lot of soul around here. Tab has made the preservation of this delta his personal crusade. We use the whatever I have, the notoriety I have from the music, to try to help uh, fix the place where it comes from. That desire became the driving force behind the Voice of the Wetlands, an organization working to save the coast and the culture that depends on it. Through music, the Wetlands now had a voice to plea for its very existence. 
and musicians from around the state have joined in the chorus. This thing is real. It's disappearing, you know, and uh, if we lose the land, we, we, we lose everything. Really. All the culture, the food, the history, all that comes from the coast. It's important stuff, man. It's, it's, it's real. I'm, I'm really proud of Tab for, for doing this. Well, they're here because they're, they love this place and they understand how important South Louisiana and the Mississippi Delta is to the music, you know, of the world for that matter. I mean, there'd be, there'd be no Beatles without what happened in South Louisiana and what happened in New Orleans where rock and roll was formed. Every year at the Voice of the Wetlands Festival in Houma, there is a three-day Louisiana Root Summit featuring the artists that have created the soundtrack of the coast. It's our duty to let the kids hear where this stuff came from, you know? Because it's rich. It's very rich stuff, man. From the Mardi Gras Indians to Cajun and Zydeco, from funk to the blues, the music is a celebration of a culture that is intrinsically and eternally bound to the bayou. The festival has drawn both attention to the cause as well as thousands of music and food lovers to the bayou. But that's the thing, when they go back to their state, you know, they can go to their congressman and go, look, man, we need to fix this place. We love this place. We go there every year, you know, and uh, it needs help. This place is important enough to spend whatever time or whatever money it takes to fix it and preserve it because it's something unique to the world that we have to preserve, you know. We can't afford to lose it. Stop talking, start playing, will you? <laughs> In the hands of Tab Benoit, the blues are more than just songs of love and loss, but of a love worth fighting for and a loss too great to even imagine. Now she's gone and I'm alone, lonely by you.